Let's move on to non-ideal solution. When a solution does not obey Rolle's law over the entire range of concentration, then it is called as non-ideal solution. The vapor pressure of such a solution is either higher or lower than that predicted by Rolle's law. Let's see a typical example of non-ideal solutions. So if non-ideal solution is higher, the solution exhibits a positive deviation. And if it is lower, it exhibits a negative deviation from Rowell's law. The plots of vapor pressure as a function of mole fraction for such solutions are shown here. The cause for this deviation lies in the nature of interactions at the molecular level. You are able to see the P1 here and P2 is here. Now here P1 is here and P2 is here. In case of positive deviation from Raoult's law, AB interactions are weaker than those of AA or BB. So in this case, the intermolecular attractive forces between solute solvent molecules are weaker than those between the solute solute and solvent solvent molecules. This means that in such solution molecules of A or B will find it easier to escape there in pure state. So this will increase the vapor pressure and result in positive deviations. The mixture of ethanol and acetone behave in this manner. On adding acetone, its molecule gets in between the host molecules and breaks some of the hydrogen bonds between them. As you know, in pure ethanol, the molecules are hydrogen bonded. Due to weakening of interactions, the solution shows positive deviation from Rowell's law. I want to show you a 3D of how the solvent and solvent molecules react. This is how the solvent and solvent molecules react. In a solution formed by adding carbon disulfide to acetone, the dipolar interactions between solute solvent molecules are weaker than the respective interactions among the solute solute and solvent solvent molecules. This solution also shows a positive deviation. In case of negative deviations from Rowell's law, the intermolecular attractive forces between AA and BB are weaker than those between AB and leads to decrease in vapor pressure, so resulting in negative deviations. An example of this type is a mixture of phenol and aniline. So in this case, the intermolecular hydrogen bonding between the phenolic proton and lone pair of nitrogen atom of aniline is stronger than the respective intermolecular hydrogen bonding between similar molecules. Similarly, a mixture of chloroform and acetone forms the solution with the negative deviations from Rowell's law. Here is the negative deviation. I am trying to show you the 3D of a chloroform. So chloroform got 3 chlorine. Here is the structure 3D of chloroform is. There will be a carbon in the center with 3 chlorine around it and there will be a hydrogen on top of it. This is how the chloroform is. 
I am trying to rotate the chloroform molecule in 3D. So this is because you may ask me a question what is it why it's having a negative deviation. So this is because the chloroform molecule is able to form hydrogen bond with the acetone molecule. This decreases the escaping tendency of molecules for each component and consequently the vapor pressure decreases resulting in negative deviation from Raoult's law. So some liquids on mixing form azeotropes which are binary mixtures. Having the same composition in liquid and vapor phase and boil at a constant temperature. In such cases it is possible to separate the components by fractional distillation. This is azeotrope. There are two types of azeotropes available called minimum boiling azeotrope and maximum boiling azeotrope. The solution which shows a major positive Raoult's law form the minimum boiling azeotrope at a specific composition. That's it. Thanks for watching a GTEC Techno Solution product from GTEC Company. Thank you.